Hey everyone, this is David Pike, the Motor City Mechanic. In today's video, we're continuing with our series on the 2018 and newer Jeep Wrangler JL body style. This particular vehicle, I want to show you step by step what you need to do when it comes time to remove and replace the third brake lamp assembly. Now in order to get to that third brake light assembly, we're going to have to take the spare tire off. In order to get that off, we've got a total of three lugs. On this vehicle, we've got two standard lugs at the top and we've got a locking lug underneath. Yours may or may not have a locking lug, but in this case, we've got one. Now in order to get to those, we've got a plastic cover we've got to take off that goes around the backup camera. And it's got a special locking mechanism that you've got to release before you can take it off. So if you look directly below the backup camera, you'll see that we've got two symbols. We've got a locked lock on the left side, and we've got an unlocked lock on the right side. So currently we've got that arrow pointing towards the lock side. What we're gonna do is we're gonna insert our T40 Torx into the center, and we're gonna rotate it over to where that arrow points to the unlocked position. At that point, we'll actually be able to slide the plastic cover off. Now inside your glove box, you should have a little pouch that has the word Jeep on it. This is basically just kind of a universal toolkit for different things on the vehicle. If you open it up, you'll see you've got an assortment of Torx bits, you've got a socket, and you've got a quarter inch ratchet. Now this long one in the middle is what we're gonna be using to release that plastic cover that goes around the backup camera. But if you don't have the toolkit, then you're gonna to have to come up with a T40 Torx bit to back off on that locking mechanism to release it so we can slide that plastic cover off. So just insert the tool. Slide it over to the unlocked. Now grab the cover, wiggle, and slide it off. So now we can go ahead and grab that key for that locking lug, rotate it till it actually sits flush with it, and we can back it off using a 7 8 socket and a half inch ratchet. Now, as you start backing off on these two lugs, you'll see that the spare tire is going to start moving around. Now it's on this cone shaped adapter that that camera's mounted on. Now as you start taking it off, it's gonna work its way backwards. Now if you park on an incline, that could be an issue, but nonetheless, just to be safe, kind of secure the tire by holding it with your hand while you're backing off on the remaining lugs. The other thing is that these studs that these two lugs go on will help retain it in place as well. But like I said, if you're on an incline, that could be an issue. So at this point, we're ready to grab the spare tire and take off the vehicle. Now the side that's facing us right now is actually going to be staying on the vehicle. That's part of the bracket assembly. It's the back cover that the lamp assembly is mounted to. So when we start removing the fasteners around the perimeter, we'll actually loosen up the cover and take the cover off the back side. Now these fasteners are a T25 Torx, and there's a total of seven of those. And the bit for that doesn't come in that little kit that comes in the glove box that I showed you with the Jeep logo. So you're gonna need a T25 Torx to back them off. Now I'm gonna be using a cordless tool to save me some time. But when I go back with it, I'm going to do it by hand because I don't want to over torque them because they're going into a plastic threaded insert on that back cover. So like I said, cordless tool is fine for taking it off, but to go back, just be careful, do it by hand and you shouldn't have any problems. Now there are two different size screws that actually hold that cover on. We've got two of the longer ones right here and we've got five of the smaller ones. Now the two larger ones go right here along the bottom. Now after removing all the fasteners, you'll see that that cover is ready to come off. But the problem you're gonna find is you cannot take it completely off the vehicle because of the connector for this LED third brake light assembly is buried inside the mount for that spare tire. But being that we don't need to completely remove it, 
all we're going to be doing is removing the lens assembly. We can still leave it attached to the vehicle. But being that I'm dealing with a painted surface on this rear hatch or tailgate, I want to put something back there so I don't scratch it. So in this case, I'm going to put a fender cover or anything you got, a towel or blanket will work fine. Now I can take that cover off and I can tilt it back and lean it there. And now I've got access to what I need up here. Now that connector is a little bit hard to disconnect for that third brake light assembly because the release is on the back side up against that plastic housing. But being that we're going to be taking the lens off anyway, we can go ahead and back off on the two T25 screws, remove them. Then we've got access to actually squeeze on that locking mechanism to easily remove it at that point. So let's go ahead and back these all the way off. Grab a hold of that assembly so it doesn't want to fall. Now we can lift up, we can rotate it around, and we can get to that locking mechanism now. So now just squeeze in right here on that lock, slide the connector off. So all you got to do at this point is grab your replacement lamp assembly, plug it in, and these alignment dowels need to line up with the holes on that back plastic cover. Now you can put your torque screws back in place and start snugging them up. And now we're ready to line up that back cover with that tire mounting bracket. We're going to start a few of the torque screws just to hold it in place. Now we can go around the perimeter installing all the remaining ones. And before we go mounting that spare tire back on the vehicle, the best thing to do right now is to make sure that third brake light works. For all we know, we may have misdiagnosed it and it wasn't the lamp assembly, or when we reinstalled it, we did something wrong or didn't fully seat the connector. So in this case, if the vehicle has been on for a while, you got to turn the key on, now apply the brakes, and make sure it works. Now reinstalling the spare tire is pretty cut and dry. I feel there's no need in me showing you how to tighten down lug nuts. So nonetheless, spare tire is back on, but we're going to be installing that plastic cover that goes over the backup camera. And all we got to do is fully seat it, and now we actually got to rotate that torque screw from the unlock position to the lock position. Now give it a good tug to make sure it's locked in place. Now as you saw, there are a few steps when it comes to replacing this LED third brake light assembly. We've got some fasteners, spare tire to take off. Now if you're opting for the Mopar replacement, you're going to be looking around $45 to $50 for this lamp assembly right here. Now aftermarket, who's to say what they're going to be going for, but like I said, OEM, look around $45 to $50. So as you saw, the steps for removing that third brake lamp assembly aren't that complicated. There's a few things you need to take off and a few things you need to pay attention to. But nonetheless, if you liked the video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up on YouTube and don't forget to click on the subscribe button. You can find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And if you need to drop me a line, you can email me at david at motorcitymechanic.com. Also, if you feel the need to mail me something, I've got a P.O. Box number. That's Motor City Mechanic, P.O. Box 240, Grovetown, Georgia, 30813. Also, if you like to shop on Amazon, please make sure to use the link that's in the description below this video, and anything that you purchase will help support this channel. Thanks again, everybody, for checking out all these videos.